You know, I want to tell you, any young girl out there who's a geek in high school, I was a really serious geek in high school. It works out. Study harder. I was voted by my senior class most likely to succeed. And I forced my friend who ran the yearbook to take that out and bury it, and someone else was most likely to succeed because that was just too, you know, uncool. I was Larry Summers, Chief of Staff for the end of the Clinton administration. And then, just like the Constitution says, they vote the other party into office, you hand over the keys. And I really thought I would never, ever work in a business. Never thought I would work in a business. Thought I would only ever work in nonprofits. But at the Treasury, we would meet with all kinds of people. You get to meet with all kinds of people in the government. And it seemed like what was actually changing people's lives the most to me was technology. And so I wanted to work there. And I kind of had to get over the fact that these were for-profit companies. But I believe they were for-profit companies that were really changing who we were as people and how we interacted. And so I went to Google. I used to do conference calls at work and pump. I would, you know, take off my shirt, put on the bra, pump milk on conference calls with people in another building. People would be like, what's that noise? What noise? Oh, that's a jackhammer outside. As they could hear the like, mmm, 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 on the conference call. So there's no such thing as work-life balance. <laughs> there's work and there's life and there's no balance. But the most important thing, and I've said this a hundred times and I'll say it a hundred times, is if you're gonna marry a man, marry the right one. If you can marry a woman, that's better because the split between two women in a home is actually pretty even, the data shows. But find someone to marry who's going to do half. Not just support your career by say things, oh, of course you should work, but actually get up and change half the diapers because that's what it takes. The role I play is, you know, Mark focuses on building the product and I run the business functions of the company. I really believe in what Facebook does. You know, technology was gonna change all our lives and it has, but technology to power us as people is really the social networking movement. People donate organs, people find their birth mothers, people find friends in ways they never would, and people even start movements. And I know that if I wake up and kiss my kids goodbye and come to work every day, that we just might touch more people. And that really matters to me. So my hope for all of you here, you're gonna find something you love doing and you're gonna do it with gusto. You're gonna pick your field and you're gonna ride it all the way to the top. The biggest thing I wanted the women at Barnard to hear was one, be ambitious. Start out with big dreams, big goals. The world is still run by men. And if those women don't walk across that stage more ambitious, they're never gonna get there. And the second thing was, how do you be ambitious? And my answer is lean into your career. When you need the balance, think about it then. When you need to think about what you're doing with children, but don't make sacrifices now for children you don't even have yet. Because that almost guarantees that you won't have a job worth staying for once you, once you get to that place. A world where men ran half our homes and women ran half our institutions would be just a much better world.